I've had the wood stove going for about an hour now because I thought I could heat up the roof tar to the point that it would be liquid, but it's not. So I'm gonna try paint thinner next. Pretty liquid now, so that's good. Hopefully that'll flow a little bit better. Hopefully it will fill in what the epoxy tar did not. About one half gallon paint thinner per gallon of tar seems to make it flow like that. And hopefully the epoxy tar will be the base over which it spreads. Looks like it's full now, so we'll see if I can get any more in there. It's been about a half an hour. Looks like it's settled down about a quarter of an inch. That's good. Jammed some wood into the sides to press the tar paper up against the keel a little bit tighter to squeeze the tar into the area where the keel is and that's the result right now. I'm going to cover it and let it sit for weeks, maybe a month. I got pretty much the whole five gallons of tar inside there now. I've decided to make my own hinges because I want to have them really thick so that they'll endure a lot of rusting over, year, over the years. These are going to be exposed. I'll of course try to protect them, but I want them as thick as possible. There's insulation in the engine compartment behind here. I'm now going to proceed to light it on fire. Here's a spring from a car. I think it was the BMW M3. Here's the setup so far. These are intended as places that I can put some lashings on and lash the dinghy down. These are some scrap oak pieces that I cut, sanded, and screwed on. The screws aren't meant to be the strength that will hold these pieces on. I'm going to epoxy them and then fiberglass over it. For one, I want a handle to grab onto so I can drag the dinghy around. And for another, I want some strength in the back to support it when I flip the boat up onto the back of the boat. And here, I'm going to cut and sand off all of the, the stain. These pieces used to be baseboards for a wall. In theory, I'm sitting here. I row the boat back into its slot. I pull on this to fit it in nicely. This is a block that's underneath here. Pull on that. Slide the rope through. I can pull it from my seat, or if I feel like I can lash it onto here somehow. But I think for now I'll lash it onto here because that's the most likely place that I would do it. Now the boat is securely fastened, and the bottom part of the boat is held this way against the frame so that it doesn't want to fall out that way when it gets lifted up.
Simple as that. Fits right into the slots. And then I would go back down and lash it here and here across to the other side to here and here. I'm thinking the rope will start here and then I'll tie the knot here. Not sure how I want to do that yet, but that's the general idea. Here's what it looks like from the top. Here are the hinges that it's on. Here's a smashed solar panel. Yes, I found it in the forest. Right now it's putting out 8.5, 8.6 volts. We'll see what we can do in the future to improve that. Here's a solar panel I purchased. It's partially shaded. This is what it looks like in the back. It's 240 watts. Right now it's putting out 36 volts. In full sun, it'll do 39, and I think it's rated to put out 30 volts when it's under load. I've got another panel just like it. I don't plan on storing these on deck. I'm just going to bring them out when I'm at anchor and charge up the batteries then. Here's a bunch of scrap metal cut into pieces to fit together as a block in that manner. The reason for it being cut this way is that's just how big the scraps were. I didn't, I couldn't make it any other way. Here's some chain. Yep, found that in the forest too. And that will be the bottom of the block. So one of these metal pieces gets two rings which a wheel is inside of and then this is the final result. And the idea with the plastic is that it, the rope will easily slip over it so that it will make contact with the wheel and slip easily through no matter which direction it's going or no matter which orientation of the block. That's it for the month of February 2020. It was actually a very mild February, so I was able to get a lot done. I'm looking forward to the last parts of the build. I'm real close to being able to put it on a trailer and bring it up to the northwest. I think I'll launch in Puget Sound. Not absolutely sure, but that's the most likely place. I can't name exactly when I'll be doing it because I seriously thought I would be launching in summer of 2019. That didn't happen. There's always more to do than I think there is to do and everything takes longer than I think it's gonna take. So until next month, have a great time and thanks for watching.